Hi, this is Derek with North Plus Gun Reviewers. Hey, if you've been following our channel for a period of time, especially on Instagram, you um, would have seen some pictures that we did of the Adaptive Tactical um, Arm for Stock and the uh, Tac Hammer Barrel from Adaptive Tactical that we got in over the summer. We did a full 1022 build, all custom, not one thing in stock parts on this, but this was such a fun build and such a great project i would recommend anybody really to um try out and do for themselves it really is a lot of fun now uh full disclosure that cycled this and me out the monopod the barrel and the stock for uh test and evaluation all the rest of this was a uh, build that came uh all out of my own pocket and uh, I worked with Sightmark to do a review on this scope here. So, let's get to the reviews. Now, we're going to do, I'm going to go, how I'm going to start this is go from top to bottom. Uh, we're going to talk about the scope, the scope rings, the barrel, the stock, the bipod, and then I'm going to go down to the stock and go full details and then into the internals. So, let's, let's get this going, guys. Okay. Uh, first off, we're using the Sightmark Core SX, uh, made for the 22 long rifle. It's a three to nine by 40. Uh, to me, it's I call them a set it and forget it scope. Zero it in, put the turret dials back on, covers on, and call it a day. Uh, great scope. It's got a BDC reticle. We have this sighted in for uh, 50, and on the BDC system, we have this for 7,500 and 125. You can do it for, in the book, it says 100, 125, 150, 175. Uh, out to 125, this thing groups in at a good solid inch, inch and a half inch group. So you're looking at one MOA to one, one and a half. So uh, made of full construction, aluminum tube, one inch system. Uh, aperture uh, gets a great amount of light in it for 3 to 9 to 40 to be honest with you uh, does not have a parallax system to it but it does have a um, eye relief focus here everything zooms all up here it does have a stiff turn um, system up here but you learn to like that especially if you're running and gunning it with it um, and where I'm going to be using this for some NL22 stuff local here next year, me and my kids, I think that is uh, more than good for what we're going to be using it for. The rings are um, a UTG ring. They are a 30 millimeter ring and not a one inch. Uh, I messed up on the ordering. I went back to reorder the one inch and a low profile and they were sold out. That's my bad. But I did have a set of inserts from a cantilever mount. Uh, that we took off of an AR-15 project uh, that we will be getting into later down the road. But these rings, for the price on them, uh, your mid-teens to low 20s, are phenomenal. I will put these up next to Vortec rings any day of the week. Uh, I have taken this rifle on a couple little outings, doing some uh, rabbit hunting, and those rings have not failed at all uh being bounced around in a truck being set around multiple times and being bounced off of a workbench a couple times to make sure nothing was moving I, i'll put them up against some good big name brands any day of the week uh the barrel is a hammer tack barrel from adaptive tactical it does come with a compensator which I will move over here so you guys can see. It does come with a compensator system, so it is half by 28 thread pitch. So it does uh, accept suppressor. Now, the thing is with the hammer tack barrels, this isn't actually a full bull barrel. Uh, the full system comes in here to about here, and this is actually a sleeve that goes over it. So what it reduces the weight down by 40% so you don't have that real heavy front weight uh, when you're using it. It's actually very quite nice and the rail system is a two-prong system and it sits uh, with a gap above the receiver and it's mounted to the barrel so you don't get none of that shock 
uh, and recoil exorbency to your rings and to your mount through the scope. Uh, being a 22, you would think that there is no shock or no recoil. There's always shock. It's uh, it's physics. Uh, equal and after reactions. So, uh, we did use the adaptive tactical stock that they sent us out. This is what's called the Treason Cam. And I actually love this camo. If you guys look at my pictures I took over the summertime with this up against the tree. And it just blended in so very nicely. I was amazed on how well this actually blends in. Uh, especially me and up here in the Rockies. Honestly, I would love to have um, this dip right here on my next hunting rifle. Instead of your traditional mossy oak. I think this looks cool. It's new. It's different. And it is just out of this world. Uh, the system does have a Picatinny rail. It's flipped up inside the bottom of the stock. You unscrew it with two screws. And you just reverse it. Now the Picatinny rail does not match the rest of the camo. Like it would be if you didn't flip that over. And that's perfectly fine. The black actually blends in very nicely. With being having the black barrel, black receiver... Um, and black monopod system. Uh, the barrel does have a channel system where you can un unscrew and have a bull barrel, or you can run this on a regular 1022 uh, pencil style profile barrel. It's very easy, very intuitive. It's not, the instructions are simple, and I give Adaptive Tactical a thumbs up on that because some stocks are just, you have to either cut something out of it or use sandpaper to bed it this thing you don't have to bed at all it's done uh it does have a six position stock and the nice thing about this stock is you can carry two ruger 10 round rotary magazines in it so you never don't have to keep a lot of um other magazines in your pocket i do like that it is set up for sw uh, swivel studs uh, a lot of people that I know ask me why it wasn't set for quick di quick disconnect. Honestly, it doesn't really bother me. I I'm old school, and when it comes to it, I grew up with swivel studs, so uh, I don't have a lot of anything really that has quick disconnect system myself. Um, does not have a butt pad on the back, which really it's a 22. You don't really need it. My kids shoot this. I shoot it. My wife shoots it. Um, everybody enjoys it that's ever gone out to the range with us and tried it. Uh, the receiver is a Browning BR-22 receiver. Um, I got that in and it installed just like any other 1022 receiver without a problem. Now, let's get to the internal parts of this. The bolt is a JHW bolt. It's their Speed Bolt series. Once you get it fitted into the receiver and get it oiled and um rack it back a few hundred times um it slides like butter this is a jhw extended handle um this is their cnc milled uh styled hammer uh sorry handle uh the trigger pack is a ruger bx trigger pack with the auto bolt modification done to it uh, it does have the stock extended magazine release. I do plan on changing that here in the near future with the full extended release. Uh, trigger brakes right around two and a half, two and three quarter pounds, which is just fine for what we're using it for. I don't need anything less than that. Face that after about two to three thousand rounds, it'll break in and you'll be breaking about two and a half, two and a quarter. So, that being said, I don't see why you need anything more than that, uh, especially if it's a plinking rifle. If you're going true competition, I can understand why, but I'm not going true competition. So I did put a bipod on this because this is kind of a bench rest gun, um, but I do use it for my little varmint hunting trips. I use the uh, UTG Super Duty bipod. I have been using this hunting season on my 30 odd six, and I did use it to sight in all my rifles. Uh, it is a six to nine, 
not your traditional style six to nine. This is what's nice about it. It's a rip and pull and with a half screw lock. It ain't going anywhere. And what's nice, it's got a little latch right here. Take it and it goes right back up in. No problem. Look, it's a hard surface. Lock it back in place. I have been thoroughly impressed with that bipod. I have been using Harrison for years. I saw that on Amazon and was like, you know, what? I was impressed with the UTG rings. Let's try their bipod. Now, would I use this in a competition based rifle? You know, I don't know. I think I'm going to give more of a future review on that when I have more time um, to actually slam it against barricades and that sort of stuff. Now, for the install on the in for the receiver and the trigger guard, I used a set of oversized pins from Pete Pillars. You can find his stuff on um, eBay, and I used one of his recoil buffers. Uh, the recoil buffer to me didn't make a big difference from running just a regular steel uh, rod to the buffer. It didn't have the clicking sound that you get uh, when the bolt comes back and hits uh, metal to metal. But all in all, this build was fun. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think I actually might do a couple more down the road. Um, a 22 bugs kind of bit me on this. I was never a 22 person. I've always been, if I'm going to do 22, it's either going to be 5.56 five, or 223. But this one, this one's been fun. Uh, this build was as much fun as the 224 we did for my son last year, which we will be doing a video on that and getting to you guys with that. So I want to say thank you to Adaptive Tactical for sending me out the stock, the barrel, and the monopod system. Wait, I totally forgot. We didn't even get into that system. The monopod system. Let's get into that real quick. It is spring-loaded. It comes out to about three and a half, four inches. Looks a little bit bigger on video than it does in person. But it's nice. It's all adjustable. All in like, I think it's like, what, quarter-inch increments? Half-inch increments? So... Sits right up in there. It's got a nice grip, tight grip system to it. You can get, really get down and really enjoy this rifle on the bench. So, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Adapt Tactical uh, for sending that out to me. Thank you for everybody who supported the channel. Thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for all the views. If you guys like the video, give a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We got big builds coming up. Here in the future, um, I got video announcements coming out for those later this week.